Hello and welcome back for another episode of Kaleidocast. Throughout history, those who have mastered the art of collaboration have tended to be more successful than those who have not. And the same goes for business. It's important to collaborate within a company, but also with parties outside. For a boutique private bank like Kaleido, we view our external partnerships as essential for our business. And today we will be discussing one of the most important relationships for many wealth management banks out there. And that is the triangular relationship between a private bank, financial intermediaries and a client. So if you're curious to learn more about this triangular relationship, well then just stay tuned because who can be better to explain this to us than the head of financial intermediaries here at Kaleido Private Bank, Christian Ortli. Thank you so much for being here, Christian. Thank you, Ina, for giving me the opportunity to explain to our audience how the business with financial intermediaries works and what differentiates Kaleido from other banks. I'm looking forward to it. And one thing that I noticed when I prepared for this conversation was that when I googled financial intermediaries, most online articles, they refer to financial intermediaries as being a bank. However, I've understood that's not really what we're talking about in this discussion. So can you explain what we refer to when we say financial intermediaries? That's correct, Dina. Financial intermediaries or FIMS, as we call them, uh, include mostly regulated um, service providers to a wealthy clientele, mm -hmm. but who need a bank as custodian and for execution as only a bank license allows the acceptance of clients' funds to book on the own balance sheet. Financial intermediaries uh, include, for example, external asset managers, family offices, lawyers, trustees, but also service providers like life insurance uh, brokers or life insurance companies and professional introducers. I would really like to understand this triangular relationship a little bit better. Why do private banks like Kaleido choose to collaborate with financial intermediaries? What's sort of the benefit for the private bank? Financial intermediaries are the ideal partners, especially for smaller banks like Kaleido. Mm. The bank profits from the fact that financial intermediaries are excellent multipliers with the vast network of client relationships they bring with them. Um, the, this allows the bank a much faster growth at much lower customer acquisition costs. And if we look at it from the flip side then, what is the benefit for the financial intermediary? FIMS have a different role. External asset managers, for example, focus on managing the client's assets. Lawyers on legal aspects and trustees on financial planning. So with the services we can offer at Kaleido Private Bank, we can ease FIMS lives mm. so that they can focus entirely on their primary job. Mm -hmm. So a true win-win relationship then. Exactly. There is another big advantage. Mm. A FIM has the opportunity to book their clients' assets with different banks mm. and thus is able to find always the optimal solution for their clients. Mm. Okay. And finally then, I've since I've started working here at Kaleido, I've always heard this one sentence, and it's that the client comes first. So what is the benefit for the client in this triangular relationship? I would say first benefit is an independent advice. Mm. Most often you hear that banks are not independent. Mm. Second, there is 200 plus banks in Switzerland mm. Especially for, 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 a foreign, for a foreigner or client from abroad, it's, it's not possible to have the overview over the Swiss banking landscape. Mm. A FIM can help him to find the, the perfect bank for him, the best solution. Mm. So it sounds like all parties really benefit from this cooperation. However, to get an even better understanding of how it works, could you come up with an example of how this specifically would look, this triangular relationship? Of course, you know. Um, let's assume a UK-based client in London um, is looking for a trustful Swiss bank mm. and asks his person of trust, who works for an international trustee company, whether he knows a bank, a trustful partner in Switzerland. And as this person knows Kaleido and its representative, 
he or she recommends Kaleido to this client. Mm. That is more or less how it works. Okay, an example is always helpful. Thank you. Okay, so I think there's one perspective that's missing, and that is to better understand Kaleido and where we stand in all of this. So could you talk a little bit about the advantages of collaborating with Kaleido? Sure. First of all, um, the business with financial intermediaries is also people's business. Therefore, building up and maintaining trustful relationship with uh, financial intermediaries is crucial. However, this does not help to attract business at all mm. if the bank has no unique selling propositions. Mm. Therefore, I would like to mention a few of those USPs. Yes. Uh, first of all, we have a dedicated FIM team with very experienced senior relationship managers. Second, our out-of-the-box thinking. We understand ourselves as primarily as solution providers, regardless whether we have the solution in-house or within our vast network of service providers uh, outside. Third, we have a deep understanding of the various markets, Switzerland, Western Europe, Eastern Europe, Central Asia, and the Middle East. And fourth, our understanding not only of private banking, but also of corporate banking needs, mm -hmm. not only uh, about traditional banking, but also digital banking. Mm. And last but not least, it's sometimes the small things that makes the difference. For example, responsiveness and flexibility. Those sound like more than small things to me, but very important factors. True. But uh, very good that you summarized this in a, in a great way and talked about Kaleido's unique selling points. If people are out there now thinking to themselves, wow, this is a private bank that we would like to partner up with, how can they reach you and your team? If you are a financial intermediary seeking a trusted partner, please contact us by phone, email, through our webpage or on LinkedIn. We are here to listen to you. Or if you are an end client looking for a bank with partners in the various fields of expertise, please also do not hesitate to contact us. And with that, it's time to just say thank you so much for taking the time to be here, Christian. I thank you very much. It was a pleasure to answer your questions. It's good to hear. And thank you for watching. If you're curious to learn more about financial intermediaries and this triangular relationship, then we have a blog post on this very topic that's out on our web pages and it's linked in the description below this video. So I invite you to check that out. And with that, thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time on KaleidoCast.